Hey guys, this is Infinite here and in today's video, I am going to show you how to solve a problem which many people face when they try to install a new window on their PC or their laptop saying you need to convert your disk into GPT to MBR to install Windows. And I know it sounds crazy but this problem is really really common and I will show you two ways in which you can solve this problem. In the first way, you will lose all your data so if you want to save your data you can skip to the part or the solution in which you can save your data but for that you will need a software so just skip to that part all right in the first way we are just going to use the command prompt so as you can see that whenever i try to install a window i am seeing this error which says windows cannot be installed on the disk the selected disk is of gpt partition style so what you need to do is convert it into mbr for that you need to go back to your original install now screen from where you need to press shift plus f10 keys on your keyboard and when you do that something like this will appear this is called command prompt now in this command prompt you need to type some commands real quick and all the job will be done now first command you need to type is this part now in after in this part now you need to type list disk and as soon as you do that it will show all the disks that are available on your system and as you can see right here it's showing disk 0 and this one and according to the size of this disk you can decide which is the disk on which you want to install your windows now keep in mind after this step the commands you are going to use is going to destroy all the data on your disk and all the data in every drive of your disk so make sure you don't have any important stuff on that disk so now we are going to choose the disk selected and type a command select disk followed by the number of that disk right for me right here it's zero and after that you just need to write clean and that's all your disk will be converted into an unallocated partition after that you can just close this command prompt click on install now follow the regular process and in the end you will see drive zero unallocated partition and now you can make new partitions according to your need and you are good to go so right here i'm gonna create a partition from a c drive and rest for the music and entertainment stuff and after that i will if i click on next my windows installation will start now this was the first method now for second method if you want to save your data you will need a software name aomei partition recovery assistant a pen drive and a working computer i'm afraid you cannot do that without all of these things all right guys we are here at a computer on which i have already installed your mei partition recovery so i'm just gonna quickly open it right here and you will see something like this now here you wanna insert a pen drive which should be of at least 500 mbs and as soon as you insert it you will be seeing something like this in which it will ask you to reload properties and it will show you your pen drive now what do you want to do here is you want to go to make bootable media what this will do is it will convert your pen drive into a bootable media with the help of which you will be able to use your AOMEI partition recovery software even without windows you will be able to boot into this whole thing right here by just using your pen drive and by booting that pen drive inside your windows so i'm just gonna click next here and it will automatically show you the drive which can be converted into the bootable media and you wanna click on usb boot device and select it and click proceed now one thing to note here is that it will delete all the data on your pen drive so if it's something important make sure to copy it right here on your desktop or someplace safe so as soon as i click this it will start and convert my pen drive into a bootable media so let's 
wait for it to happen. Alright guys, as you can see, our bootable media wizard have finished and it have installed the AMEI partition recovery assistance on the pen drive. So let's just finish this and and now we are gonna put this pen drive into the laptop on which we are gonna run AOMEI partition recovery assistant. Now guys, as you can see, I'm gonna put my pen drive into my laptop and then I'm gonna start my laptop and boot into the pen drive. Now as I have set preference to boot into my pen drive first already into the BIOS it's gonna boot into the pen drive but for some reason if it doesn't boot you can press F10 or F12 keys on your keyboard to enter into the boot menu from which you can select your pen drive on which this software is installed. Alright once you do that you will see something like this. Now here you will see that there is a disk which is of GPT partition right here and you will see all the information about the drives above. Now what you want to do is you want to click on the GPT partition disk and if you right click on it you will see an option of convert to MBR disk or you can choose the option on the left hand menu. Now if you click that you will see uh, something like this and as soon as you do that the arrow on the top right hand side will appear. Now if you click on apply, the main operation of converting your windows drive from GP2 to MBR will be done and your windows and your drive will be converted to this. And as you can see all the operation have been done and it has successfully converted this drive into the MBR partition. Now you can uh, put in the CD or the pen drive on which the windows is and normally boot up and when you do that it will not show the error of GPT to MBR. Now now if you are doing this there may be an error which shows 2GPT underscore BCD or 2MBR underscore BCD missing. Now this error may occur because as you can see in the image right here you can see there are some star partitions, system drive and C drive because of which it is not able to make the it is not, not able to convert all the partition into the MBR. For that you need to delete all the unpartitioned drive and create a simple new partition and I hope this problem will be solved. But if it's not solved, I am afraid you need to delete all the data on your drives and create an unallocated drive from which you will need to create a new drive in which windows will be installed. So guys that was it for this video. I hope this helped you to finally solve this problem and I know second methods is real big but it does help in saving your data and it's if you see from my point of view if the data is important why not spend those extra 15 minutes to save it. So if you have any problem please let me know down into the comments and I will try to solve them as soon as possible. Till then this is infinite signing off.